Hello everyone, it's Tana. Welcome back to the channel and another video for the Rabbit Hole Designs. Today we're working with Caffeinated Giraffe and the Weird Science Stencil from the latest release. And we're going to make two cards, so my images are already, color already colored. And two of them are paper pieced, but we're going to do one of those together. And the reason I chose to paper piece the second guy, and you see that I, I made his neck extra long, I, is because my blue marker did something funky when I was coloring the robe. So I decided to go ahead and paper piece him as well. So I just used, you know, whatever I had handy, little scraps of uh, pattern paper that I had left over and I had saved. And you want to make sure you outline all of those after you cut them out to make sure they have a nice black finished edge. And then they look more finished when you glue them into place on the image itself. And I think my two-way glue pen is the best way to place those because some of them can be very tiny. His mug is plaid. I had some leftover plaid from paper piecing the first giraffe. So his mug is a plaid mug. If you hear wheezing, I'm sorry. I have got my first cold of the season. So I'm trying very hard not to cough. We're going to do some quick ink blending here with some Ground Espresso Distress Oxide ink. And then I'm making sure it's nice and dry because I don't want any of that color to mix with my embellishment mousse. And we're going to use some tonic embellishment mousse here, some soft truffle, I believe it's called. I'll have it listed down below for you. It's a very pretty color. This is the first time I've used this one. And I just went over it really quick with a spatula, tonic spatula. And here's the reveal. Uh, if you see down in the bottom left corner, some of it smeared underneath the stencil, which means my pixie spray did not work very well. But I'll show you what we're going to do with that later. Now I'm going to use some Catherine Pooler inks. It's a girl and it's a boy. I was hoping that the pink mixed with the blue would turn to purple because that plaid, the giraffe with the plaid robe has purple in it. But it didn't really take on any purple tones. It stayed blue and pink. So I don't know if that's because I think these are more of dye inks. Maybe perhaps I'll try that with something else next time. But there's still blue in the robe, so we can work with that. I just showed you there that I cut out a rounded rectangle frame with some Hero Arts Infinity dyes. And now I've already ink blend blended this smaller panel with Twilight by Catherine Pooler. And we're going to use a sentiment hashtag giraffinated in the center there. And then the little chemical compound, I think that's called, for, the, for coffee. We're going to stamp that in the four corners. And this card's going to be mainly, it's not going to be a main shaker card. It's just going to have a little shaker card in the center of it. And I use some uh, Imagine Crafts Frost and then some Tattered Angels uh, Glimmer Spray on that and I dried that really well and then I put acetate on this frame and I'm cutting I had to double my foam up for height but I find that my doubled height is equal to a normal piece of like scotch 3m foam tape because I'm not putting any kind of things in the shaker that require a lot of height and I cut that in half lengthwise and then in half again to make sure it was skinny enough to go around the frame. And we're just going to glue that panel that we inked and stamped in the center there. And now I'm going to add, I think these ones are pretty pink posh sea glass and then some Studio Katia October, I believe those are crystals. I will list them down below because of course I can't remember. And then those brownish iridescent sequins came free with some order a while back. I can't remember what order it was. But I thought they looked really cool. So of course I'm going to add a little bit of glue to my foam tape before I glue that frame into place. And sorry for my head there, but I had to make sure it was covering that gray background panel. And we're going to glue that flat to a cement gray, MFT 100 pound cement gray card base. <coughs> Excuse me. Now I'm going to stamp out our main sentiment. 
and I cannot remember what I used. Hmm. I guess we'll find out in a minute. But we're going to use that giraffe with the plaid robe. And I went over. Did you see that? Yep, I spilled my embossing powder all over my Misty. I went over my sentiment with clear embossing powder. And now I'm just putting foam tape on the edges that will fall to the main panel of the card. And then just glue on the piece that will touch the frame. And the sentiment says, this giraffe needs the whole carafe. Which I thought was pretty cute. And our first card's already done. So now for this panel here, we're going to end up trimming that whole piece off. And only using one part of the panel. And I believe this panel is, I don't use this whole panel here. I use, I think it's an inch and a quarter. So I ink blended that panel behind it with antique linen distress oxide. And I started to put pumice stone around the edge, but I didn't like it. So we're going to cover that up and just leave it as it is. And because I took the letters tall uh, with tonic pearlescent black cardstock, I used the MFT Impact Alpha letters, dynamics for those. So we're going to put the other half of that sentiment, which is please, onto a black sentiment strip and we're going to glue our letters into place and these were so big that I kind of had to stagger them down the card and the sentiment strip's going to be coming out from behind his robe and he's going to be glued flat to our our strip with the weird science background and after he's all dry we're going to put foam tape on the back of that panel and put that on the front of our card base and that's a color I don't use often. It's a brown card base. So you guys know I mainly use white, black, or gray. And now I'm going to use some of these. I think they're Honey Bee Playground Dewdrops. I've looked for these things so I could have more as backup when I run out. And I don't think they carry them anymore. But they have brown, blue, and green all in the same package. And they are so pretty. But that's it, guys. I staggered those all over, put them down with Nouveau Crystal Glaze. Here's the cards for this week. Don't forget to sign up for the Rabbit Hole Designs email and get a head start on inspiration, sales, and all the other good stuff. Bye-bye for now, guys.